This video demonstrates using Intel VTune Profiler Memory Access Analysis and Microarchitecture Analysis to identify a memory access bottleneck and improve performance by optimizing use of memory cache. First, configure the application hotspot analysis with hardware event-based sampling. After data collection and finalization completes, the performance summary tab is displayed. This shows that the application ran for over 20 seconds with poor cycles per instruction rate and the main hotspot, the area of code that is executing the most, is the binary search function. The Insights section recommends running a microarchitecture analysis. The bottom-up tab shows more detail about the binary search function hotspot, including the instructions retired and CPI rate for that function. The Timeline pane shows that the binary search function consumed nearly 100% of one core cycles. Right mouse click on the binary search function name and select View Source from the pop-up menu to view the function source code. The source code view shows that the algorithm is searching for a value in a sorted list by checking the midpoint of the remaining data and either increasing the minimum or decreasing the maximum to narrow down the remaining list until it finds the desired value. The source code instruction consuming most of the processor time is the midpoint data access and comparison instruction. Since the bottleneck appears to be memory access, configure a memory access analysis. This time, the summary tab shows that the application ran for over 22 seconds and is memory bound, specifically over 70% of clock takes were DRAM bound. The platform diagram shows that less than 7% of the DRAM bus bandwidth was utilized. Bandwidth utilization histogram shows that most DRAM accesses were low utilization. The memory object with the most latency and last level cache misses was accessed by the binary search function. The latency histogram shows many memory accesses with high latency. The bottom up tab shows the binary search function was highly DRAM bound. To better analyze why the binary search bottleneck has a high CPI rate, configure a microarchitecture exploration analysis. After the microarchitecture exploration analysis data collection and finalization completes, the performance summary tab now includes significantly more detail about the application performance from the perspective of the processor execution pipeline. Specifically, the application is memory bound with 70% of clock ticks spent waiting to access DRAM memory and over 8% of clock ticks waiting on L3 cache accesses. The bottom up tab shows more microarchitecture performance data for the binary search function, including clock ticks, instructions retired, CPI rate, and the memory access metrics indicating this function spent 72% of clock ticks waiting for DRAM accesses. The source code view shows the performance metrics per line of code. The data midpoint access instruction consumes over 90 billion clock ticks and is the primary source of the high CPI rate and the DRAM access bottleneck. To alleviate this memory access bottleneck, use the built-in prefetch compiler commands to provide a hint to the processor to prefetch into cache the possible data midpoint memory accesses that might be needed by the next iteration. In this small loop, this is not much advanced notice, but we can measure the prefetch effect when we rerun the memory access and microarchitecture analysis. The memory access summary tab shows the application elapsed time decreased from over 22 to 16.4 seconds. The application is still memory bound, but now only 50% DRAM bound with more reads satisfied by cache. The platform diagram shows that the DRAM bus utilization increased from less than 7% to 32%. The bandwidth utilization histogram reports fewer low bandwidth accesses and more medium bandwidth accesses. The memory object with the most latency and last level cache misses was accessed by the binary search function. The latency histogram shows fewer memory accesses with high latency. The bottom up tab shows the binary search function was less than 60% DRAM bound compared to 73% previously. After the microarchitecture exploration analysis data collection and finalization completes, the performance summary tab shows several performance improvements. Elapsed time decreased from 22.6 seconds to just over 16 seconds. DRAM access decreased from about 70% to 55.5% of clock ticks. L3 cache accesses decreased from about 12% to about 7% of clock ticks, and L2 cache access increased from under 3% to over 8% of clock ticks. Since L2 cache access is much faster than L3 cache or DRAM access, this is likely the primary cause of the overall performance improvement. The bottom up tab shows similar improvement in the CPU time, CPI rate, 
and memory access performance metrics for the binary search function. The source code view shows that the built-in prefetch instructions consume significant number of clock ticks, but when adding the prefetch clock ticks to the data midpoint access clock ticks, the combined 61 billion is still significantly less than the 90 billion clock ticks measured without the prefetch instructions, and the midpoint access instruction DRAM bound value decreased from 72 to 58 percent. This video demonstrated how the VTune Profiler Memory Access Analysis and Microarchitecture Exploration Analysis can be used to analyze DRAM and cache bottlenecks and identify optimization opportunities.